weave at Mozilla Labs. And um, it's a little fun diagram of weave right here that you can see. The idea behind weave is that your data is yours. Yeah. And so you can encrypt it locally on your computer. We'll give you some server space to store that encrypted data. Yeah. And then you can give that encryption key to other computers and perhaps even other websites that you want to privilege with that information. Sure. So the, the basic um, case for Weave is you, know, you have Firefox 1, you have Firefox 2, and you store your bookmarks in Firefox 1, you synchronize them to the crowd, and your Firefox 2 copy yeah. has those same bookmarks. Um, and then you can see that in the future you can take that into another browser or another right. phone. But you can also take it to other service providers. So you could make it so that, for example, a travel site has permission to access your history. Yeah. And that way the travel site might see that you've gone to a bunch of sites about Mexico and know that you might be researching a vacation there. And the next time you go to your travel site, it might already have a whole bunch of flight information for you for Mexico right. based on what it knows about where you've been on the web. But it's very important to us that that information is under your control as a sure. user, and that's why you can locally encrypt it, and you have to privilege websites to see them. Now, in terms of direct weave integration with uh, Firefox, obviously mm -hmm. that's not in 3, because it's still a labs project. Is the plan to uh, bake it in for 3.5, or is it for some future time when it's considered to be uh, ready? Uh, Whenever it, that is. It's for a future time when it's considered to be ready. Weave right now is an experiment, and anybody can go and join us in this experiment by going to services.mozilla.com. You can sign up to get an account. Uh, please note that this is, and it says all over here, it's an experimental prototype. Um, they're about to release a new version, probably in synchronicity with when we uh, release Firefox 3. Um, but what we want to do is get more people using it to help us understand how they want to use it. And this is the way we develop software at Mozilla. We work with our users, with our community to figure out better ways of doing Great. things. And then